Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2022 Hit Parade Baseball Autographed Limited Edition Series 7 Dual Case Break. A lot of great stuff here. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. And there are the teams right there. Let's roll it and randomize names and teams. Six and a two, eight times. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Got Chad Coleman down to Corey Parson. Six and a two, eight times for the teams. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Good luck. After eight, got the Rangers down to the A's and the Kings with a goal tying it up. Nice. All right, Chad with the Rangers, Matthew with the Pirates, Lonnie with the uh, two Chads here, two Chad C's. Chad Coleman with the Rangers, Matthew with the Pirates, Lonnie with the Yankees, Cromwell, Nationals, and Tigers. David with the Royals, Matthew with the Phillies, Tanner with the Cubs, Nestor with the Diamondbacks, Allen with the Rays, Nicholas with the Reds, uh, Cromwell, you got the Giants, Danny with the Mets, Dennis with the Padres, Nathan with the Marlins, Coleman with my Dodgers, Wilson, Tanner Wilson with the Twins, Barry with the Orioles, Cromwell with the Guardians, Tanner with the Brewers, Allen with the Mariners, Harry with the Red Sox, Matthew with the Rockies, Jacob with the Braves, Lonnie with the Angels, David with the Cardinals, Cromwell with the Blue Jays, Matthew with the Astros, Lonnie with the uh, White Sox, and Corey with the Oakland A's. Let's sort by column B right here. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB. All right. Welcome back, everyone. Some trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done, so... This dual case break remains the same. The deuces are wild in here. 22, 22, dual case. Break number one. There's everybody. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate it. Let's see what we got in these two cases. And by the time we're done with this break, that should take us close to the bottom of the hour if you're watching live. We might have a... I might have a chance to squeeze in another break or two. Maybe that NT soccer break. <laughs> well, trendsetter, I don't want you to get too high. And then when the, and then when the lions become the lions, then then you'll get sad. No, you gotta you gotta you gotta be. Uh, you gotta you got be cool, you gotta be right, you gotta be level. You can't be too here, you can't be too there. All right, let's see what we got in here. Good luck, everybody. Not too many baseball news here. I guess Dave Dombrowski extended to 2027. Angels acquire Hunter Renfro. There you go, Angels. I'm sure you can uh, can make some starts for you. <laughs> That's what they need. They need Hunter Renfro. Steven Strasburg, three color patch and autograph. That goes to uh, 25. That'll be for the Nats. That's going to go to Chad Cromwell. Next up. Is, is Curtis Mead. Prospect, two color prospect patch and autograph, five out of 49. A slugger from down under, an Aussie. Next.
Gold frame. White Sox. Eloy. 21 out of 25. That's nice. This is from uh, this is from Transcendent. That's pretty sweet. That's gonna be for Lonnie and the White Sox. Lonnie and the White Sox. Lonnie. Aussie, Australia. Curtis, C Curtis, Curtis, Curtis Mead. Aussie, Australian. Beer. All right, we got. Austin Riley, 136 out of 299. From tier one, it's for the Bravos. It goes to Jacob and the Braves. Jordan Alvarez, 46 out of 50. This is from Tribute. Nice one for the Strohs, Matthew. Rex, is saw, everyone's talking about these free agents. Do you think there'll be any big trades this winter? I don't know. When's the last time we've seen a blockbuster trade in the winter? I feel like that's becoming a little more rare, right? Or at least not as common in recent years. We have seen some bigger moves in the summer, though. I think when people get a better idea of, hey, this is where our team stands, you might see some more trades. Ooh, nice rookie auto. Bobby Witt Jr. from Museum Collection Baseball, 194 out of 199. Who's got the Royals? David M. Kansas City. All right, another one. Is Vlad Guerrero Sr. from Topps Chrome Black. It's a real sharp looking set. Expo stuff goes to the Nationals and that's gonna go to Cromwell. We got Julio Urias, 19 out of 99. Prince. Nice. It's a certified prospect autograph card from 2014 Bowman Inception. I was like, this is an older card, isn't it? It is. Dodgers. Chad Coleman this time. this it's a thick in here from immaculate baseball it is it is rookie key brian hayes it's a piece of his glove jumbo fielding glove relic and autograph one out of 25 for the pirates that's awesome who's got the buckos that's gonna be matthew linder I'm not sure if that's his gamer. Is <laughs> Brian Hayes probably not giving it, giving up his gamer for it, but still, nice piece of the glove. Maybe he did. I don't know. Probably not. Unless it was an old gamer. He's got a new gamer. And, hey, let's play two. Ernie Banks. Out of 25, 18 out of 25. From that set, right, little playoff honors. Cubbies, Tanner with the Cubs. All right, that was a nice first case. And guess what, we got another one to go. It's a dual case break. Think about the, what the ref is asking, the trades. Trades, when are, when are trades, I'm trying to think, when are trades usually happening? Trades often happen when there's a, a team 
that has players with fat contracts, but but on on bad teams. And so maybe that team usually thinks, hey, should we should we dump the uh, the good player with the big contract since we're on a bad team? Should we shed that for a prospect and a rebuild? Now, how many teams are in that situation? I think the well, the, the Nationals were, but they they moved Juan Soto in the summer. I feel like those moves are we're seeing happening happen in the summer more often. Smaller moves happen in the winter, I guess. Graded card. Not too many graded cards in this limited set. PSA 10, 68 out of 99. Josh Bell from 2021 National Treasures. I guess Otani, but he's not on a long contract though. So I think I think most teams are like, why give up assets when we can just wait a season or two and just try to catch Otani in free agency without giving up anything? Instead of giving up assets for Otani and then have to try to re-sign him again. So I don't think it's gonna I don't think Otani fits that, at least not in the winter. Another graded card, 9510 Carlos Correa from 2013 Bowman Sterling. Centering, edges, surface, all a 9-5. Corners are a 9. His autograph's at 10. He's on the free agent board. Where does he end up? That's a nice one. That's for Matthew and the Astros. I mean, I guess not Otani, but I guess Trout. Would be more of a, a more of a trade candidate that teams would want to go for in the off season, but I don't think the Angels would. They're trying to get new owners. New owners want Trout on that team, you know. Gold frame nine out of twenty five. Glaber Day, Glaber Torres, Yankees. That's gonna go to Lonnie. We got we got two hits in here. We got 173 out of 199. Byron Buxton. Game used jersey and autograph. For the twins, that's gonna go to Tanner. And we got a sketch card. A one of a kind hit parade sketch card. That's pretty cool. That's a good looking Willie Mays. You can learn more about the artist there. That's pretty cool. Uh, that'll go to the Giants. That will be for Chad Cromwell. Uh, I guess we're technically we're going by our no checklist rules. If there's no checklist for this, then he'll go the team that he played for the longest if he was tired. And of course, that's the Giants. And it's a one of one. So, Chad uh, Chad Cromwell, right? Yeah, Chad Cromwell. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, Rex, you've seen people actually mention Trout in a trade. Do you think the Angels would actually do something crazy? I don't think so. I don't think they would. They're trying to get some new ownership. New ownership certainly wants at least Trout on that team, if not both Trout and Otani. So you know they want both. All right. And there's Alec Bohm. 40 out of 49, quad relic and autograph. Phillies. That's going to be for Matthew. Matthew S. And what could you really... I mean, you really can't get... 
true fair value for Mike Trout. He's just one of those players that are just that good. Where he would require a number of a number of starters and, pro and top end prospects and just at a level that that that's probably is exactly what he's worth, but I don't know if any team would actually do it. There's Cody Bellinger. Where does he end up? 7 out of 24. Cracked ice autograph. Rookie ticket autograph. It's a good buy low candidate right here. Chad Coleman with the Dodgers. We'll see. He might sign a one-year deal with the Dodgers or some or somewhere. Sign a one-year kind of prove-it deal. See if he can get back on track and if he shows some signs of his former MVP self. Maybe gets himself a nice long-term deal somewhere. That rookie card might, might keep creeping up. It's crazy, like... He's still really popular. I don't know how, I mean, I'm sure the market is not that great for him at the moment, but he's still got a bobblehead this year. <laughs> not a lot of players who are, who are hitting under 200 getting bobbleheads. All right, there's Ryan Mountcastle. Three-color patch and autograph. Rookie patch and autograph from Select. 20 out of 25. O's. Barry with Baltimore. All right, a few more to go. We got Sweet Lou Brock from 2017, Clearly Authentic. 16 out of 135. That's David with the Cardinals. Nice. Got that old school Ernie Banks in the previous case, case and we got a Lou Brock in here as well. All right, a couple more to go. Another gold frame. Wow, that's a Michael Trout, speak of the devil. 21 out of 25. Angels, Lonnie, won that spot in the filler, got randomized, the Angels, gets the Mike Trout gold frame autograph from Transcendent. That's pretty awesome. Congrats. All right, and the last one here. Is going to be El Ronald Acuna Jr. Shadow Box Autograph, 28 out of 99. From Immaculate Baseball back in 2021, Jacob with the Braves. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, another great hit parade break in the books. Keep an eye out for more on jazbeescasebreaks.com. And we've got a Jaspie exclusive hit parade, basketball. Check that out. So if you're, if you're like, I like baseball, but I wish there was a version of this in basketball, there is. It's on jazpyscasebreaks.com. Check it out. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next Hit Parade break.